What's up, everybody? It's White Boy Lockdown Radio. I'm back with another one. Um, make sure to like the video. Make sure to share it down there by the subscribe button. There's a join members. Uh, watch the video for the perks. And if you can stand it, let's get the members up, people. A while back, um, I'm going to put the video that I did at the end screen or a card. or If I remember, I'll put it in the description. Um, it'll be somewhere after I upload this. But I did a video uh, speaking about when I was on a prison bus. I was sitting next to a young black dude. And this dude was his first time to prison. And he kept telling everybody how he wasn't going to cut his dreads and this and that and this and that. And, uh, you know, there's a few other dudes that's been to prison before. And he was near me. And I'm like, hey, bro, they're going to get them dreads. And, uh... He was like, nah, man, they ain't gonna get the dreads. You know, he was very accustomed to the county jail setting. You know, in county jail, you know, you, you can sell the uh, the guards out more. You know, you can say something slick. Sure, there's the hard ones in there that, that are gonna put them cuffs on you and bring you to confinement, sure. Um, but you're, you're more than likely able to disrespect them, sell them, say something sideways to them in jail and kind of get away with it. Going up the road, that's just not gonna happen. You're not gonna disrespect any staff. But I'm telling the dude, I'm like, bro, they're you're, they're gonna get them dreads. And he's like, nah, dog, nah, they ain't gonna get these dreads, man. I've been in the streets, I've been having them this long. I'm like, man, look, bro, we're all gonna rock the same haircut. Uh, make a long story short, they got the dreads. Um, I'll put that video because it's a funny story what happened to that dude next. But uh, anyway, that whole prison bus experience, that. That experience itself is a uh, is is a big part of the whole prison experience, man. Going to prison, you know that bus ride, man. It's always a long, long, long bus ride. Um, you don't know where you're going. Okay, of course it's a security reason. They can't let you. You, you never know where you're going. So you got to have dudes on that bus that been up the road before, or maybe dudes that drive trucks on the street or drive anything on the street. Older dudes with experience in life that can kind of like, they, they know they know the state, okay? Look, we're passing through the central part of the state, this and that, you know, and they know the prisons that you can kind of, they, they have a better guess of where you're going than, than than anyone else, especially the younger dudes, the greenhorns. You know, um, there's so many prisons here, you never know where you're gonna end up, right? But uh, it's, it's, a, it's a crazy experience because everybody, in the beginning, they're, they're, they're glad to be on that bus because no one wants to do county time. Anyone who's done time before, county time sucks. Um, yes, you're, you're locked up either way. You, you're still locked up and in jail. But when you go to prison in a weird way, in a true way, you have more freedom than jail. In jail, you know, you, you know some jails you get wreck, you know, twice a week or once a week. Okay, in prison, you're going to get it three times a day. Okay, uh, you know, you, you have access to buy more things with your money in prison. You know, m more better and more hygiene, better and more tasting food items on the canteen. It's just what it is. You can get, you can buy sneakers, you can buy shorts, all types of stuff. So everyone's excited to go to prison because they've been in jail so long. But at the, so it's, it's a crazy experience because everyone's boost to get on that bus to get away from point A to get to point B, but halfway through the ride, that excitement starts to uh, wind down a little bit. And uh, it's such a long ride, and it's always the older dudes or the dudes that's been to prison and that are telling stories. Talk about prison channels or genre, man, If that, that bus ride, you'll get some stories. So the excitement starts to, to, to wind down a bit, all right? And you you it really hits you, man, I'm about to go to prison, okay? And then, of course, pulling up to the prison, you know, it this, this is a big place. Uh, prison is a big, big, big place. It's a huge compound, man. Some places have, you know, three different uh, facilities there, you know? In, in, in Florida, at least, you know, you have a, a main institution, main line, whatever you want to call it. You got the main one, and then you got like an annex, which is another big part, another big part of the prison. And then you have like a little off part, 
whereas the, the work camp, but the meaning is it's huge, right? And there's razor wire everywhere. You've never seen so much razor wire in your life. And you pull up, man, and uh, the COs are going to sell out. They're going to make themselves known. They want you to know where you're at now, and they will belittle you. You know, they'll tell you straight off the bus, man, this is not the county jail. Welcome to prison. And they're going to slap somebody. They're going to do all that stuff, man, right off the bus. It's a crazy, crazy experience, man. But, um, you know, going back to the black kid with his dreads, okay, you know, that's part of what's going to happen. You're, you're, everyone's going to get a bald head. Everyone's going to be rocking a butt naked face, okay? It's just what it is. You're also going to pee in a cup. But what I don't see talked about on, on, on these channels a lot is that DNA test. Um, you know, I've been through the system before. Okay, I'm, I'm going back to my second bid. I've done this bus ride before. I've pulled in and seen the razor wire before. I gave my urine sample. I gave him my hair. But I knew what was coming next. And, and, and it's funny because, you know, getting off that bus... They, they not only belittle you, but, you know, man, you're state property at this point, okay? You're no longer county property. Man, they have you, they have you shoulder to shoulder, man to man, butt naked, butt naked in this alley, in this alley thing, uh, or alley port. And uh, listen, this is where everyone gets to meet Chris Hansen. Chris Hansen comes to every single prison. It's not Chris Hansen himself. But after they get after the, after you shave that head, after you give the urine, after you get the butt naked face, the cotton swab comes. They run it all up in your mouth, put it in a plastic bag, and ship it to the feds. Man, a lot of weirdos get caught up right here. A lot of weirdos. Look, man, everybody. It doesn't matter if you got a channel on YouTube and you're doing prison. It don't matter if it's that. It doesn't. Every look. Anybody watching this, you have gotten pulled over before and got a ticket. You're going 60 and a 45, whatever it was. But how many other times were you speeding? How many times were you going 70, 50, 80, and they didn't get you? But you paid the price the one time. You know, a lot of dudes are on this bus. And they're paying their debt to society back. But man, you know, there's a lot of things that you didn't get caught for. A lot of weirdos get caught up right here. You know, look, man, you can go with, uh, you know, a big charge that I used to see a lot of people come to prison with was uh, dealing in stolen property. Okay. Uh, or false information to a pawnbroker. And why I'm speaking about this, I'm going to give everybody a little bit of game. Man, if you do dope out there, um, or you're into the you're into the drug game, the drug life whatsoever, man, the dumbest thing you could possibly do, man, take it from a convict. The dumbest thing you can do is take something stolen to a pawn shop. You you, you have to be missing some marbles. You gotta produce uh, your, your driver's license. You gotta give a thumbprint, and they got you on camera. So you tell on yourself three different ways. You cannot take up the trial. You cannot take up the trial. They got you three different ways. Okay, moving along. So that's my Big Matt Lawyer 101 for the day. A lot of dudes go go to prison for that right there. Okay, because they gotta have it on their on their on their back or whatever. Okay, but they're serving time for just that, you know. Man, um, that cotton swab is a mofo. It tells everything. That is your DNA. Man, a lot of dudes get jammed up. You can go for three years, and now you're in for 20. It gets real, and it gets real, real quick, you know. So just as I'm telling the black dude, man, they're going to get them dreads. You know, I was on the bus, what, uh, a dude, Big E, I've been locked up with this guy a bunch of times in the county jail. I did a video about him. Um, I spoke about him in another video where I fought the GD. Um, and I'll get into him more. But, uh, you know, he was laughing when I'm telling the JIT about his dreads. 
And I'm like, uh, and he's, you know, Big E's behind me. I'm like, Big E, you know, wait till they wait, wait till they meet Chris Hansen. And everybody's like looking, you know, no one's arguing with me or him because we're telling the we're telling our stories as that boostness winds on down, and 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 the the excitement of going there. Now it's like fear kind of starts to hit in. Um, but we're doing it as looking out. But when I spoke on Chris Hansen, you know, the eyeballs. I got a lot of eyes on me right now. But, uh, man, I'll tell you what. A lot of dudes get cased up. And it's not just for the weirdos. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to make this about the weirdos. Look, just like I said, you could have been going 45. You got a ticket for going 60, but, you know, in a 45. You, you, but you've gone, you've been speeding, you know, your whole life. You ain't get caught for it. It's not, it's not just a weirdo thing. Look, man. A lot of dudes are in the street. I gave an example of a pawnbroker thing, right? But, you know, people go to prison for all types of things, right? You know, you could have been hustling, man, in the street. Maybe maybe, maybe you get jammed up for a sale charge or a possession charge or whatever it is. You know, if you're in the streets, if you're living like that, you know, things happen. Maybe you had to handle something one time. And you got away with it. You know, maybe somebody, however you had, however you had to handle it. But, uh, and you got away with it, you know. It's one time you're going 60 and they didn't catch you. All I can say, man, is uh, hopefully you didn't leave any DNA back. You know, hopefully, you know, it it means a lot, you know. Um, Sure, the weirdos get caught up, um, you know. DNA is everything, man. Um, But a lot of dudes get caught up as well, you know. You know, a lot of jack boys get caught up. A lot of jack boys get caught up. You know, um, kicking in doors and stuff. They get away with it. Or maybe the streets don't tell on them. You know, hey, look, your fingerprints are there, man. And like I say, they put it in that envelope and it goes right to the feds. So you might be there doing two, three, five years, six, seven, eight years, whatever it is. But man, look, you just you, you just got a concurrent sentence. Uh, a concurrent sentence means, you know, an example would be, I, you know, I, I, I have a charge for, you know, possession of cocaine, okay? And then I have a charge for possession of uh, 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 marijuana, whatever. Let's just say I had three years to do concurrent. That's six years. That means I got to do three years on, on the coke, serve my time. After the three years, day one starts on the marijuana. So when you go to prison... For the two, three, four, five, eight years, you got to do that bid. You got to pay that debt to society back. But if they get you, if Chris Hansen gets you, after the two, three, five, eight years, day one starts on the 20. It gets real and it gets real, real quick. The prison bus is nothing to play with. Um, You know, yeah, it, it, you know, yeah, you get out of the county and, and, and now um, you want to just get there. And another reason people are excited to go because it's one step closer to home. You know, look, I'm in the county. I got, you know, five years to do. Let me get on this bus. Let's get, let me go there. I'm going to hit the wall. I'm going to do what I got to do. Get my hustle on, whatever. It's one step closer to home. But man, look, some dudes get on that bus, get off the bus, and it's two steps back. But hey, stay out of the joint, man. That's all I can say. Man, smash the like, share it. Um, I hope I'll close it like this I hope everybody just gets to watch this video I hope nobody gets ever has to meet Chris Hansen on a Q-tip because uh, man that dude gives a lot of time away until the next one man it's Whiteball Out Radio stay out stay safe and stay solid man